What's up, Scentsy fans? It's Patricia and I have a haul for you today. I've actually cut into the box and removed almost all the packing. And I apologize in advance for my appearance. I have a partially itchy bloodshot eye. I'm tired. I need a haircut. That is life. <laughs> anyway, I have a, a party close up, which is always nice. So let's talk about, oh, here it is. Let's talk about the consultant things I bought first, which are two things just some labels that you can use for sending samples. And these are felt molds for samples. These are really nice. Now I can get back to work. All right, I have a bathroom cleaner and I love the bathroom cleaner. This is great. You can use it in your bathroom stall or your tub, but I like to actually use this as well in my toilet. I spray this inside the toilet. I let it sit for like 30 seconds or so, and then I use this my scrub brush. I don't buy those gel cleansers anymore because I love the Scentsy. It's a good product. So some of these items are for me and some of them are for customers. If I have a customer item, I will not be opening it. So I will show you what a customer picked up though. She picked up the Pine for Plaid Mini Warmer. So that is still available as I film this video. And actually, uh, what's today? Thursday. So on Monday, we have a new warmer coming out. I'll insert a little picture here. I love this warmer. I'll probably be getting it for myself, even though I don't need it. And we have another sale. I think the items are harvest items, select any NFL, excuse me, items, and certain bricks. You can get bricks. I believe it's two for 40 in Canada or two for 30, I want to say in the US. I will put uh, below if I'm wrong on <laughs> the brace. Anyway, I picked up a sense of the season bundle. I like to have this, it has the five different scents. I like to have this on hand. This is a wonderful last minute gift if you need a gift for someone. This is a la excellent last minute gift. And even if it carries over to next year, it's an excellent last minute gift for next holiday season. All right, and I have the box positioned really close to the tripod, so it might shake a little bit. Uh, I picked up three fragrance flowers. I'll tell you a story. Unfortunately, one of my fragrance flowers, you know how you're supposed to leave the fragrance flower free from everything else? And usually I put it in the back of my toilet uh, in my downstairs child's bathroom. However, I said, I want the vanilla bean buttercream one upstairs. So I scoped out a spot and I put it in my closet. Little did I know an old pair of my orthotics went down and touched the fragrance flower. And let's just say, they soaked up a lot of oil and they smell like vanilla bean buttercream now. <laughs> but my orthotics are actually larger in size. One is larger than, in size than the other. So lesson learned, go and check and make sure your fragrance flowers are not touching anything that can absorb oil or that they can touch because the oil can damage the surface. But one of the fragrance flowers I picked up was Berry Blessed. This is also an excellent gift for someone because you don't need an outlet. It can be used in small spaces for a nice burst of scent. I wouldn't put in a big area and expect a lot out of it, but in small areas, it works really well. I have winterberry apple tea, and these are all in the Darling Dahlia, which is my favorite. That's the original one. And this one doesn't have the new packaging, so this is an older one of Cozy Cardigan. I've recently warmed Cozy Cardigan in wax, and I really, really liked it. So I have a couple bulbs here. I have in this bag a blue bulb and a red bulb. So that's for a customer. Okay, um, you may know this about me. I tend to pick up room sprays and scents that I really like. And I did have a room spray in this scent, but uh, someone kind of took it. So <laughs> I had to get another one. So we have sugar cookie. Really, really like this. My advice is if there's a scent that you really like, but maybe you're not, you don't like it enough for your Scentsy Club and maybe you just buy a few bars, definitely pick up the room spray because you can use the room spray to kind of enjoy it in you know one squirt at a time. So one scent that I'm probably gonna do that with is Red Berry and Spruce, Red Berries and Spruce. I really like that one. I think I'll enjoy it in the room spray instead of like, you know, putting it in my Scentsy Club. All right, let's just go through some bars. I think that's hopefully the last thing. We have Berry Snowy Spruce. This is a great uh, scent it has. I think it has like pine and fir and balsam and amber. So lots of different things, pine cones. That's a bestseller. I have two polar bear hugs. 
formerly known as Eskimo Kiss. This has blackberry jam, it has caramelized uh, sugar, it has vanilla and amber. It's very perfumey but beautiful. If you haven't tried it, I suggest picking it up. The next one I have is Silver Bells. I love this one. It's one of my favorites, probably in my top five or ten, I'm not sure. But this one is one that I don't get around to a lot because I always say if you have a lot of wax, it's hard to get to your favorites because I'm always trying out new things with Scentsy, doing my Tester Tuesdays. So I will definitely give Silver Bells a focus in probably January and February when it's still cold up here in Canada. It's a really beautiful bedroom scent. That's where I personally like to warm it. Soft and romantic. It's got pear, it's got, which you can't really tell it's pear, but it's got candy cane and it's, it's just so nice. It's got um, a warm vanilla sugar. Now these next three, I actually picked up because I used them out of my previous uh, Scents of the Season box and I wanted to replace them so I had two full Scents of the Season because sometimes like I might give one to someone I work with or whatever, sometimes the bus drivers, although the bus drivers in my life, they hate scent. <laughs> they talk to me about it once and I'm like, so they, they br I brought Drew out and they're like, I smell something. And they're like, do you do you use home fragrance? I'm like, yes. And they're like, oh, well, we, we, we don't really like home fragrance. And I felt like saying, well, I can't really stop it's my home. Um, they can smell it a little bit on us. So with Drew, I try not to put too many, like I don't really use washer whiffs. If, if any, I use very, very small amount in his laundry. So trying to be courteous, but it is my home. And I always thought to myself, and, and I know Ramona is going through something at where she's living, but I thought to myself, if someone was a smoker, would you say to them, I don't like the smell of smoke, please don't smoke. <laughs> like, I don't know, like it, it's just kind of a tricky situation, isn't it? Anyway, I have spiced uh, apple chestnut. This was my favorite besides Wasail Wonderland. Then we have bayberry and currant. This one is the one with black currant and it has like, yeah, it's very fresh. This is an extremely fresh, long lasting, and I felt, like it was, oh, oh, look at this. Can you see that? Well, that sucks. Who would want to receive a bar like that? Huh. Oh, you know what I will do? I have my old clamshell. I can do a transplant of this wax into my other clamshell. And that way, if I decide to gift it, it'll be fine. So I'll put the broken clamshell aside. Now, if you're not familiar with my channel, my son, Ryan, he just turned 10 last year. He collected every single clamshell, not like pods or, but pretty much any clamshell from bars or bricks. He collected them all. And at the end of the year, I did a run through of all the scents that I warmed. And because he's a bit of a creature of habit and he likes that kind of thing, we decided to do it again. So we are getting quite a few bars <laughs> under his area where it's supposed to be a desk. And it's so funny because someone came by and uh, like a friend of his from school, <laughs> And they were like, what the hell is going on with your bars under your desk? What I'll do is I'll take a picture and I'll insert it here so you can kind of see if you don't know. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm just going to get rid of this box here. One second. All right. We've got some more stuff. We have maple apple bourbon. This is a very, very strong apple, maple, and like a warmth of bourbon type scent. It's very long lasting. So this is an assertive scent. Yes. And this one doesn't smell as strong as the one that I've had most recently, but I think this is one that when it cures, it's going to blow you, blow you out of the house. I have, I'm going to get a little closer. I have Be Mary. Be Mary is a former scent of the month from the first year I became a consultant. I think it was December 2018 scent of the month or November. I'm not sure. Uh, November. Uh, 2018. This is really nice. It's kind of like, it's got cassis and it's got pine boughs, holly and cassis, I believe, but it smells like, like a wreath of holly. Now this one smells very berry heavy and the berry smells like a very merry cranberry type influence. So if you like that scent and you can picture it with a little bit of tree, then that is Be Merry. Another popular one this time of year is Christmas Cottage. This is a bestseller. This time of year, a lot of local people, do you have any Christmas Cottage? Do you have any Christmas Cottage? If you're a consultant, I suggest looking through the bestsellers in the catalog and making sure you have one or two for those emergency customers that either can't wait for shipping or something's come up. You wanna be able to help them out if possible. The bestsellers are usually the way to go. They're bestsellers for a reason. So this one has raspberries, orange, and clove but it's pretty heavy on the cinnamon and it's kind of a strong assertive cinnamon so it's 
nice. I like it. I'm okay with cinnamon. I like cinnamon. This one is in the bakery. It's salted caramel toffee, former brick from last year. It's got salted caramel toffee and butterscotch. We have perfect peppermint. Something to the uh, only all the cool kids like perfect peppermint, blah, blah, blah. I don't really like that scent description. <laughs> I do think I get a little bit of vanilla in this. Yeah, it's not one of the strongest peppermints. I think peppermint rush was stronger than this, but I'm just going by memory. So this is perfect peppermint. I do like the white and the red. I hear my son Ryan in the background. I told him, I said, try to be quiet. I'm going to do a video. <laughs> and I already had to tell him twice before I started. All right, I have a brick. Sweet orange pomander. This one has mostly clove and red hot cinnamon. And then the orange is kind of fighting its way in the background, trying to be recognized. It does come out a little bit more when you warm it. But yes, it is very, very heavy on the spice. And I found out of all the bricks, I think fluffy fleece lasted quite a while and so did this one. So if you like long lasting scents and you're okay with clove and cinnamon and this tiniest kiss of orange, then pick this one up. This one probably should have been called something else. Oh, it's got a little, it's got a little air bubble there. Should have been called something else. I don't, I don't know what. <laughs> Holiday spice. Holiday spice would have been nice. Um, and then this one is probably the most popular brick. And actually, I did a poll on my YouTube community tab. I said, "What's your favorite brick?" So if you haven't gone to vote for that, please do, and I will tell you guys why towards the end of the year. So hopefully, you'll understand what that means. But this was the most popular brick, spiced eggnog. So this one has eggnog and it has clove and it has that rum. Some people don't like the rum. Some people don't smell the rum. I'm not gonna pop this out, but usually it's, it's a little bit heavier on the bottom. This one's a little bit damaged. So that kind of sucks. <sighs> I don't like that, but um, we'll see how things go. I might be able to swap that out with one of my bricks. Oh yes, yeah, speaking of bricks, Margaret, uh, okay, so I forgot during this party closeout order, what I would suggest you do if you are a consultant is if you know that there's something launching the day that you're going to close out a party, say uh, something like a sense of the season. It's, it's a certain price. In my sensey world in Canada, a wall fan diffuser was the same price as a sense of the season. So I just put things to hold space so I can kind of, you know, swap one thing out, you know, do that kind of thing. So that's what I suggest you do. But for some reason, I had a space holder for this scent and I missed out getting it. I screwed up somehow, but it is the, I can't even, the adventure is out there, Disney's up. That's gonna be one of the more pretty, pretty packaging, very pretty blue colored wax. And it's probably not gonna surprise anybody that I, I haven't watched this movie either. <laughs> so if, you know, if you know me at all, you know I, I rarely watch TV. I'm more of a YouTube person. But the reason I have this, I actually got this a few days ago with this. So Margaret said to me, why don't you just put a one kind of limited time only club order, get your up <laughs> and maybe grab a brick. So that's what I did. So no, I didn't get the brick at half price because I did not meet that level, but I did get 10% uh, off both these products. And then I deleted that monthly club. Now I must admit when I deleted the club, I was so afraid, but when I pressed delete that I was gonna delete my regular club, but no, it did not. So yes, what I'll do is I'll bring up the up. I'll bring up the up and we will read it and smell it. So you can hear Ryan talking to himself down in the, the rec room there or the living room. So Sensi says, trek through a tropical veil of Mandarin splash honeydew and coconut water as watery green apple brings paradise falls within reach. So we have mandarin, honeydew, coconut water, and watery green apple. So lots of fruit with coconut water. Oh, this reminds me of something. This reminds me of um, if you took make a splash and stitch and put them together. <laughs> it kind of smells a little bit like this. Definitely has memories of Make a Splash. I think it's the green apple and maybe the coconut water, but I don't know. This this is not as strong as Make a Splash, but yeah, it's pretty. I think if you like scents like that or Mahalo Coconut, um, Crazy Coconut with a perfumey, like if you mix maybe Crazy Coconut and Hibiscus Pineapple 
or something like that. But this reminds me a little bit of Make a Splash and Stitch put together. What I will do is I will take this bar and add it to a Tester Tuesday voting option. That way, if you want to hear about it, I can review it for you. If not, I will get to it at some point. So that is up. And before we go, I'm sorry this is so long, I'm rambling. <laughs> Squeeze the day brick from my cheater club, which I never do, but I just wanted the up bar. So this is the most beautiful color wax ever. I love yellow, it's my favorite. Tell me something, if there is a wax that is in your favorite color, are you more drawn to that wax for whatever reason? If so, let me know, give me an example, I wanna hear. I wanna know that I'm not the only weirdo out there. And unfortunately my uh, squeeze the day has a little crack down the, the middle. Here we go, I wanna say, when I was doing a brick chopping video, what I would do is score my bricks down the hump. I would score them and I would just do one row at a time. I like it because it's tidy that way, keeps me focused. I just do a row, then I move on to another brick. Somebody said, why don't you just take the whole brick out? And the newer bricks do come out fairly easy. I don't want to take this one out because it's cracked, but the newer bricks do come out of their clamshell very easy. You just turn it, turn them upside down. You press a little bit, they come out. But my older bricks, oh my gosh, I had a cranberry and tinsel I was cutting the other day and I had to fight to get those cubes out. So if you can get the brick out easily, you can easily cut it. You just kind of take a knife and cut it like this. Duh, duh, do your things, put them right back in. They fit like a puzzle. No must, no mess, no fuss. All right, so thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. If you have tried the up bar or you've uh, smelled this, let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. I'd like to hear. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. You can hit the little bell. You'll be notified when I post a video. If this video was helpful in any way, please give me a thumbs up so I know. Take care and I will see you guys in the next one.